This is our main menu. And from this, you can download drill or route programs from a drill room file server over the network, from a CD if you choose to, or if you care to, from a floppy disk. Now what we're going to do is work over the network from a drill room file server. When I press enter, it shows the last job that was run on this machine. For example purposes, I'm going to stick with that, tell it, yes, this is the job I want to run. I have a choice of yes or no. Yes. Now, do I want to use graphics? In almost all cases, yes, you will want to use graphics, but you didn't have to. You could just load it as an ASCII text file. Here, you choose the tool table that we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use copper. Uh, I'm not sure what their definition is. These, these tool tables are created by the customer for the particular type of material, the thickness of the laminate, and the machine that they're running it on. And they're maintained on a network file server, typically by an engineering department. When I select that, well, that's interesting. I picked a table where there isn't the new tool size available for this job, so it's giving me an error. What I'm going to do is go back and use whatever values they had plugged in the M48 header. Now, I'm going to get a graphic display. That is the entire panel to be drilled. All step and repeat, all in it. One of the things I can do here if I want to take a better look at it, I can zoom in to any degree I care and I could verify which tool I just arbitrarily picked a hole. That hole is going to be drilled by the hole number is 167. It's on T13. It shows me that T13 is a 67,000 drill bit, and the exact XY location of that hole is shown here. So we can select any hole. We can find instantly any hole on this thing. Let's go back now and say we're just going to route or drill and route the entire panel. I press home. This is a view of the entire thing. Now, if I press the function key F8, I get this is the original Exelon front panel. In fact, for your information and demonstration, if I type SP for status state, this is the original Exelon CNC6 status tape. I'm going to go back to the front panel. Now, to load the drilling, this is a combination drill and rough loading, to load it into the CNC6 from the computer where it's now stored, there's a window down here. The instructions in this window match the particular machine that's being run. In this case, it shows reset, okay, reset over here. SI, comma, the name of the file, which in this case is from CC1. So, SI, comma, from CC1. Enter. Cycle start. Now what you're going to see is the drilling program loaded down the side here, as well as there's a progress bar along the bottom here, which will show how far you have to go before it's complete. I'm going to press cycle start. This is the M48 header. You just saw it loaded in. There's the end of the M48 header. Now it's loading in the various tools. The instructions up here are what is normal for the CNC6, waiting for start button. If we, because there's still a real job on this particular situation, I'm not going to press the start button because I'm not sure what it would do to the panels. They're trying to do a demo here for video purposes. Key thing, you can see the program as it's loaded here. You can tell how far you have to go. And in this case, I barely got started. This is a long program. 
three, you can see all of the normal echelon parameters. And four, if there's something that has to be done, it's low error or it's waiting for start button. Whatever error messages that are normally put up by the CNC fix occur here in red, which makes them a little bit easier to recognize and a little bit more obvious if there's a problem. I think I can do a cycle start. I'm going to put it in no drill. Okay, now we're continuing to load the entire drilling program. And you'll see it progressing along the bottom here. You're seeing it's taking it in large chunks of data quite fast. This is faster than you would normally be loading from another source. We have a little bit farther to go here. When we get out to the end, you'll see that it's put in an M00 in place of an M30, which tells this controller that it has loaded the program, but we do not have to put this thing into a rewind mode. While this is happening, I could go take a look at the tool page, just for example. Okay. Here's the Exelon tool page, still loading the program here, and I, I don't know what they want to run here, but you could go in and change any of these tool parameters as you normally would with the original machine. All the capability that was there before is still here, plus you have the graphics and the ability to see what's being loaded here, and the selection of multiple tool tables and the ability to, to drill just selected groups of holes instead of the whole thing, or route just selected segments. You know, we're almost, you can tell, we're almost finished down here. When this finishes loading, we could go back, if we wanted, to the main graphics screen and magnify it or make any changes that you care to. Okay, at the bottom, it shows file transfer. Okay, so that program has been loaded properly. If it's ready to run, you can go with this machine. If you wanted to go back to the graphics, once you get it started, you can close this out by simply typing F10. 